Right, it's time to be cooking again. Getting some frozen garlic, got an onion, got basil, got black pepper, salt. We're going to use some tomato puree, which we're just grabbing from the, uh, the fridge now. Ooh, tomato puree, exciting. Um, what else do we need? Uh, we don't need Madras curry powder, that's for something else. Just brought that today actually from, uh, what's that place called? Uh, Costco. So we see what it's like, it smells really good actually. So what we're going to make, we're going to make a chicken and chorizo pasta tomatoey chili flakes. Chili flakes, need to get the chili flakes out. Chili flakes. It's a bit like I'm, when I make a seafood linguine, but this is going to be chicken and chorizo. I'll come back to you once we chop some of this up. Right, so we've chopped up the garlic and the onions. It actually went for four really large cloves. I was going to do six, but there was so much garlic. Um, sort of finely chopped. Just chopping up some chorizo now. Good old uh, Spanish chorizo ring. Spicy. Yeah, finest cuts of pork with paprika and cayenne pepper. Banging. So finally cutting that up. We're going to throw that straight in the pan with no oil. We're going to fry it off because I like my chorizos crispy. I'm also going to cook all that chicken off of it as well. It's quite a lot of chicken. Actually, that's an awful lot of chicken. Usual, look at all the water in there. It's disgusting and minging. But anyway, we'll do that, and then we'll come back to having and start frying it off. So, right, chicken's in there. I've only used three of those breasts because that was just too much. Half the chorizo ring. As ever with chicken, cook it on a really high heat. Fast, because all the water seals some of the moisture in. Unlike the curries, You've got to really make sure this chicken's cooked through. So I'm just going to leave it in there like that, just to settle. I've added a tiny bit of olive oil, because we'll get some lovely oil off the uh, chorizo. Flavour some more. At this stage, I'm going to add some pepper. Normal black pepper. Well, I say normal, it's Tesco's finest. Not that there's any bloody different to normal bog standard cheap pepper. Plenty of pepper, because we're going El Italiano. Even though we're using Spanish chorizo, chucking a bit of salt. I don't put a lot of salt in my food. Something with a little bit of kick. Some chili flakes. There we go. So we've got my onions, my garlic there. Once this is cooked off, we'll chuck them in. Now we had a discussion off camera about what pasta we use. It was either going to be linguine, spaghetti, or tagliatelle. Uh, quite honestly, whatever pasta you want, and you like, and you've got, use it. Luckily we've got some linguine, which is my favourite. So over next night, we're going to get that on the boil in a moment. Uh, the other thing I want to say is, this is exactly the same as my seafood was like, I don't get the seafood using chicken and chips, so I'm going to get the seafood. So, linguine, how much do we need for two people and for that? Well, apparently the little hole is for one person. The middle holes for two, and the big ones for three. Possibly four. I don't know, but we always tend to use the middle one, two people. So that works fine. I prefer to use three, because I'm a green bastard. Worth getting one of those, dead handy. So as usual, Tesco's chicken. It's got lots of liquid in it, so it's taken ages. You can see the chorizo's coloured the uh, chicken a bit. So we get that liquid off. The problem is we, in the UK, get a lot of our chicken from Holland. Um, what they do is they pump it full of water to bring the weight up. And the Tesco's and these other bloody supermarkets are effectively selling you water, chicken with water, just to get the weight up. It's disgusting. However, I did buy some chicken from Costco today, and the quality of that chicken compared to this is sensational. Not a single ounce of fat on the Costco chicken, and it doesn't seem to be filled with water either. So there, there's hope for the future. We need time to add the garlic and the onions. Just a quick look in that pan there, please, guys. So the chips are starting to crisp off a bit. So definitely time to chuck the onions in. Finally got all that water out of the uh, chicken, which is a shame, because hopefully some of it will still be in. The chicken is getting nice and moist. But let's fry this off. It's starting to smell incredible. So we'll give the colour to the onions. They'll obviously sweat down. And then we'll be ready just to add the tomato puree and the basil. And that's kind of that done. We'll just leave it on a low simmer until the linguine is ready. Right, linguine is boiling away nicely. Just get a couple of wine glasses out for a, a bottle of wine. Don't ask me what it is, it's that. Smells very fruity and very nice. And in time to add in some tomato puree. Want a big slug of this. And we also want 
a load of basil. Not Tesco's finest basil, it's just basil. Plenty of basil. As I mentioned before, don't put too much in, but I learnt my lesson from the bolognese. It's actually really nice with lots of basil in, because it's not too overpowering. So that's that, I'm going to mix that in. Add a little bit more olive oil, just to give it a bit more juice. We'll mix them in greeny once it's done. Job done, this is now on a low heat, just to simmer it away. And the best thing about this dish, it's quicker than cooking a frozen pizza. Right, so chuck in your linguine into the food, add some more olive oil to give that lovely shine. Also helps keep you regular. And job done. And if my glamorous assistant can mix that up, stop arguing for once, we'll be alright. And breaking things. She's only broken one thing during this uh, cooking session. <laughs> so yeah, it's probably not an Italian dish. It's probably not a Spanish dish. It's probably not an English dish. Or a curry. But it is what it is, and it's really fucking tasty. So I hope you enjoy it. Give it a go. So this is how I make seafood result. I just changed the seafood, and I promise that is lovely. We'll find out what this is like in a bit. Au revoir.